Hello and welcome back to the Film Club, the club where we talk about films that we've been recently watching, viewing and enjoying. Let me know what you've been recently watching and enjoying and if you've seen what I'm about to talk about, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. As soon as I saw a film with Andrew Scott and Paul Mescal, I was already sold. I went into this film completely blind, knowing nothing about the story and I was a little bit confused. Not necessarily by the story, but it wasn't what I expected. From the few snippets of trailers that I'd seen, I thought this was going to be almost like a love kind of story. I didn't think it would be an emotional roller coaster of grief despair moving on and just a brilliant film don't get me wrong i went into this film knowing and expecting incredible acting paul mascal is slowly becoming one of my favorite actors if not already in my sort of top five of the current era but andrew scott as well i loved him in sherlock i love him in everything i've seen him in he is outstandingly brilliant i want to go watch a theater performance because i know he does a lot in theater and i would absolutely die to see one of them but both of them are just amazing. It's such a tough character to portray. These two characters that are just insanely going through grief or hardships or struggles with sexuality or, or, or parent issues and, and all these different things and yet both both portray it incredibly. Every time Andrew Scott cries, I want to cry. He just pulls out the emotion in such a raw, brilliant way that is it, 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 it's so well crafted. Claire Foy and Jamie Bell, the, the, the two parents as well, a brilliant job. They encapsulate the time period that these parents are supposed to be stuck in. They encapsulate the feelings and emotions of a parent who's not quite sure how to react, who's still sort of stuck in their old ways because they never made it past into the new age and yet they, they, they just draw it out in such an incredible brilliant way. I mean Claire Foy as the mother is an absolute highlight but one of the scenes that broke me was the scene between Andrew Scott talking to his father about the moment when his dad heard him crying and he didn't come in and and, and both share this brilliant little moment where he, his dad is just sorry for not coming in because it, it, it shows the brilliant sort of relationship that isn't often explored very much. The father and son is a very strange relationship. Uh, there's not a whole lot of emotion shared there. As men, it's found quite tough to sort of talk about that stuff, especially with your dad. It feels almost uncomfortable or awkward, certainly for, for me at least. So this scene very much hit home with these two men sharing this little moment together. It was, it was well crafted, well filmed, well done brilliant. I, I mean, this film is just crafted well in every aspect. The music, the cinematography, the acting, obviously. It just all is, is, is a brilliant ball of a great film. <laughs> the story holds mystery, it, it holds depth to leave you questioning what you've just seen or think about what you've just seen and, and, and try and piece together what your meaning of it is. I've seen a lot of people's interpretations of all of us strangers online. I've seen different explanations or feelings or, or what people are experiencing with this film. For me, I have my own theory. I think this film is about two men in a purgatory state. I think when we first come into the film, I honestly think they are both already dead, but I don't think they're allowed to move on to the next life or what holds after death until they've sort of accepted and fixed the, the internal issues that they both have. Andrew Scott's character has still not really truly dealt with the grief of losing his parents at a young age. Paul Mescal's character has issues with loneliness, abandonment, also parent issues. Both almost work together to fix each other's problems and, and draw each other out of it. And I think the end song and the end scene, The Power of Love, it's like, this fixes it. <laughs> like, loving someone and accepting them into your life helps you heal and fix the issues that, that you face in, in your life. The, the, the trauma, the, the, the pain, whatever it is, opening yourself up to someone else fixes that. And then through that, they're allowed to move on to the next life and they become a star in the sky. That's my interpretation of the film, at least. Is it right? Is it wrong? I don't know. I don't think there is a right or wrong with this film. I think it's one of them that it's meant to be left open. It's meant to make you think or, or question what you've just seen. All of Us Strangers overall is a brilliant film and I think it definitely deserves a rewatch. I think I went into it expecting 
something and what I got out of it was completely different, which didn't necessarily annoy me and I had no gripes with the film, but I think I just went into it with a different expectation and what I got out of it was something entirely different. But is it this emotionally fueled grief, trauma ridden film? Yes, it's emotionally draining, it's mentally draining, but it's one that sticks in your head for a long time. It's brilliantly written, brilliantly crafted, the acting deserves all the praise it's gonna get, and I would absolutely implore you to go see it. But anyway, what did you think of All of Us Strangers if you've seen it? And I'll see you next time on The Film Club.